In this video, I'll talk about stratified random sampling. In an earlier video, I have uh, talked about the simple random sampling, about simple random sampling with replacement and without replacement. In this video, I'll talk about stratified random sampling. In stratified random sampling, we ensure that the uh, stratification in the population data is maintained in the sample data as well. So what does that mean? Say for example, we have a variable named as gender. It has male and female, uh, you know, the proportion. The male and female proportion in our uh, population data is uh, 0 0.6 is to 0.4. So 60% is male. 40% is female and we want to maintain that in our sample data as well. For that we will use uh, you know the stratification as gender to ensure that even in our sample data the proportion is maintained or the proposed in proportion of male and female or the ratio of male and female uh, is same as that of the population data. For this exercise I have taken data uh, I have taken data from the uh, SAS help. So um, my, my stratification is based on the make of the car. I have taken the cars data from the uh, SAS help. So uh, the data set has different features about you know, different cars. Um, my stratification is on the basis of make of the car. So let me run frequency just to see what is the uh, you know uh, what is the distribution of different cars. So you can see Acura. It's 1.64. Well, well, uh, it's 1.64, and then Audi it's 4.44, BMW it's 4.67. So that's how the uh, different cars are distributed in the in the population. So the intention is that in the stratified random sampling also the same proportion is maintained. Well, the syntax is pretty much the same as that of your simple random sample. Um, we use proc survey select data then we give the uh, location and the data set name of the population data method is SRS REP is one because we want one sample I have used SAM rate you can use SAM size also so the difference is that in SAM size you need to mention the total number of observations whereas in SAM rate you have to give the proportion of the data like I have mentioned here 0.5 so I want 50% of the 50% uh, of the data from the population data if you have 100 observation in a population you will have 50 observations in your sample so that's how it is and then my out data is sample data so how does this stratified random sampling uh, you know work well, within each stratum, it does the simple random sampling. Okay, in simple random sampling, it 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 runs the algorithm, the simple random al uh, algorithm, making sure that each observation has the same probability uh, of being selected. In stratified random sampling, the only difference is that the same algorithm runs within same within each within each stratum so it, for example if you have two stratum like uh, one is male another one is uh, female so we run we essentially run simple random sampling within the male population and then within female population and then combine them so we do it separately and then combine the, uh, combine the data and to form our final sample so that's the way uh, you know it works um, another thing that I have added is strata is our make. So this is the only difference between stratified random sampling and the simple random sampling. Difference in the syntax. 
I have used strata as make. You can use any other stratification uh, depending on depending on the kind of data you are using. So let me run this. Okay. So it's run, and let me check the frequency once again. Well, well, I want to check the frequency in the sample data. Sample data to make sure that the proportion is same. If I go to the output, I can see that the proportion in the uh, in the uh, in the population data for Audi was 4.4. But in sample, it's 4.42, so there is a slight difference. Similarly, for Acura, it was around 1.7, but here it is 1.77. So there is a slight difference, but but there won't be much of a difference between the proportion in the sample data and the proportion of different mix in you know population data. They will be pretty much close to each other. To summarize. Sampling is an important, uh, you know, important stage in any modeling exercise. When we do modeling, first we sample our data uh, from the population data to ensure that we have a smaller data to work upon, and then we we ensure that the uh, sample represents your uh, population and. Uh, to, to, to make sure that your sample represent your population, we use different uh, strata, uh, you know, different stratum, and we in in uh, in, in our code uh, and and make sure that the uh, the proportion of different uh, stratum is maintained in the sample data, and and on on the sample data only we we build our model. Two type of sampling are there: simple random sampling, stratified random sampling. Um, sometimes simple random sampling is uh, good enough. You don't need to do stratified random sampling. So when do we do uh, simple random sampling? When we don't have any stratification in our data set. If there is no stratification, we go in for simple random sampling. If you have any stratification and we ensure that that is maintained, then uh, uh, we use stratified random sampling.